Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. Press start to begin. Hello everyone and welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back for the PlayStation 1. The sequel to Crash Bandicoot, the original one that started the whole adventure of Crash who escaped Dr. Cortex. And now, you know, it's a direct continuation to the story. So what we're going to do is take a look at the manual and see what this adventure says here. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite games from back in the day. I certainly prefer it over the original because it is quite a bit easier. It's still very, very difficult, but it has a lot of quality of life improvements. So let's go ahead and read what the story is about here. So a whole new adventure. Thanks to Crash, the evil, evil Dr. Neocortex finds himself hurtling earthward at terminal velocity. His maniacal bid for world domination thwarted, or so the story goes. But as it turns out, the world's problems are really only beginning. Cortex awakens to find himself in a dark cavern filled with glowing crystals. Convinced that they hold tremendous power, he retrieves one and crawls back to his laboratory to examine it. The crystal leads him to a terrible discovery. Soon the planet will, uh, planets will align to create a catastrophic solar flux, and only the crystals provide a means to contain this incredible force. Determined to redeem himself for his past evil deeds, Cortex sets out to develop a new crystal-powered Cortex Vortex that will capture the stellar energy and harness, harmlessly dissipate it. He enlists the aid of his old colleague and infamous physicist, Dr. Njin, to help him design such a device. 25 crystals are needed to provide the necessary power matrix. Cortex knows there's only one hero with a chance of success, Crash Bandicoot. Crash saved the planet from Cortex before, but can he save it again, this time, for Cortex? Hmm, so a bit of a different thing here now. Cortex is going to be trying to save the world? Can we really believe him? Can we really trust him? Hmm. So, welcome to the warp room. Totally oblivious to Cortex discoveries, Crash is lying, laying out soaking in the sun. His little hacker sister Coco is typing furiously on her laptop trying to finish her program before the battery runs down. She yelps. Her screen has gone black, and she pleads that Crash to get her a new battery. On his way home to get her power back, Crash is suddenly blinded by a flash of light. Next thing he knows, a holographic projection of Cortex is talking to him in an ancient warp room. Cortex tells him about the impending disaster and urges Crash to help him find the 25 crystals needed to power the only means of survival the Earth has left, the Cortex Vortex. He explains that an ancient civilization built the warp room centuries ago, and that their doors provide instant access to points all over the world, placing hiding places hitting the, hidden the uh, coveted crystals. Of course, Cortex doesn't know that the Earth only contains va uh, valuable gems, 42 clear and 5 colored, which may hold the key to his downfall. So, hmm, can we really, yeah, can we really trust, can we really trust Cor Cortex here? I don't know. Anyway, let's also take a look at some of the, the, uh, the characters we'll be meeting on our journey. We have, of course, Crash Bandicoot. He's a marsupial on a mission. He's cool, he's brave, and he's ready for action. He's a hero who believes but he's no fool. Dr. Neo Cortex. Cortex claims to have learned his lesson. He says he's out to save the world, but a world of advice no matter what you do, 
don't turn your back on this guy unless you're running full tilt in the opposite direction. We also have his colleague here, Dr. N. Jin, once a world-renowned physicist, Within the defense industry, Dr. N. Jin was taken in by Cortex shortly after one of his missile projects went terribly wrong and hit him in the head. The missile was reconstructed as a cyber life support system but is still, al but is still alive so don't get him upset or he'll literally blow his top. Coco Bandicoot, this is Crash's sister. Coco is the spirited young sister of Crash and is highly intelligent. With her, when, when her face isn't glued to a computer screen, she's trying to get Crash, Crash's relaxed life more organized. Count on Coco to hack into Cortex plans to warn Crash with some important information. Ripperoo, here are some of the henchmen, shall we say, of Cortex. Ripperoo is back, madder than ever. He's had time to perfect his attacks, so make sure you don't try to stand toe to toe with this one. Okay, and then there's a few more characters as well. Including some new new ones here and familiar faces. Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo. Cold hearted and cold blooded, the brothers from a dangerous combination of brains and brawn, speed and strength, loyalty and leadership. Komodo Joe is the brains of the operation. While not physically powerful, he relies on speed and cunning in a fight N is a master of the deadly art of samurai swordplay. And then Komodo Mo is not necessarily the most intelligent, but what he lacks is brain power. Komodo, what he lacks in brain power, Komodo Mo makes up for with size, unbelievable strength, and the force of an runway freight train. Then we have Tiny, a fearsome opponent, if ever there was one. Tiny has a few tricks up his enormous sleeves. Try to stay one step ahead or you might get crushed. And then here was the uh, assistant to Dr. Neo Cortex in the first game, Enbrio. Double crossed by Cortex, this one time partner in crime will not now do anything to stop Cortex and his fiendish plans, regardless of the consequences. Hmm. So interesting, right? Interesting. So why don't we go ahead and get this started here. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And it's going to show some of the story. It's going to like show where Crash defeated Cortex on the blimp as uh, Cortex is falling down to the ground. <laughs> Crystals, of course. But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Crash? Crash! My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Alright, so, here we are. So, that's where the game starts. You know, he's just, he doesn't know what's going on here now. He's just gotta get, get a battery for his sister. There's quite a few new, new things we can do. You know, Crash looks a bit different. The controls are definitely better. It's definitely... A bit easier, as I mentioned. There's a lot better save functionality now, which we'll see once we get to the to the warp room. But Crash also has a few new moves. Let's see. How do I do that? There you go. He has like a ground, a body body slam. It's that goofy little face that he's got. There you go. He's got that, and then he can also kind of skid too, skid and also crawl. So yeah, those are those are some new uh, abilities that we have that we will be making good use of. So that guy returns, Aku Aku Mask. 
More lives, great. Also, just the overall graphics just, just look such a big, big improvement over the first game. And just like the first game, actually, you really can't have the game in widescreen because games optimize very well that everything off the screen, if new, even if you have a widescreen code on, it ain't gonna matter because it's not gonna re 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 it's not gonna render it. It's not gonna render it at all, so. Not gonna render it. There we go. There we can go. Boom! Bo uh, body slam. There we go. Now, this one actually does, it actually does, when I have had the widescreen code on, it does render a bit more than, than the first game, but it's still, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. <laughs> there we go. He got teleported. Oh no. Where is he teleporting to? To the warp rooms! That's what's so great about this game. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So yeah, we, we read the backstory. We know about him trying to get the, the crystals to save the world, even though he's not revealing that yet. And the whole premise is each of these levels, as you can see, this is a warp room, so you can literally choose any, any level here. There are five levels on this first floor. There's multiple different floors. You go up the elevator there in the center. And each level has a crystal. As you can see, right, right, right in the center there, up by the name, there's a, uh, a crystal, as well as two, two gems. This one has a blue gem and then a, a silver gem. And then this one has like a red gem and a silver gem. This one has two silver gems. That one only has one silver gem, and then this one has a crystal and a one silver gem as as well. So we want to get all of the gems, obviously. Now sometimes we may need to go back to a previous level by getting certain colored gems. We may need to use that color gem in a different previous level in order to get the gem that we that we need. But the main thing you want to get is the crystal. That is where the whole premise is, and you have to get the uh, crystals in order to advance. So, why don't we go ahead and hop on into... That's right, I should also mention the uh, save and load functionality. It's just right right here. Literally, you can save it at any time. Let's go ahead. Look, it's going to read the memory card, and it's going to save. So much better than the first game, where you had to collect a bunch of... Oh gosh, what did you do? You needed... I'm having a hard time. There we go. I was about to say. Look, look, look at his goofy-looking face. I'm gonna name it. Yeah, you know what? There we go. Perfect. So yeah, in the first game, you had to collect all the Tanya tokens in certain stages to be able to actually save it. So yeah, that was an absolute nightmare. Fortunately, now you can just save it at any point. Way, way, way better. So why don't we go ahead and hop on into our first stage, Turtle word Woods. So in order to order to get the uh, silver gems, we want to get all the boxes. So I will be doing my best at at doing that. Let's go ahead. Now I don't. The only safe states I will be making for the most part is going to be you know very very di difficult parts or. Parts that have a check checkpoint, like if I if I have to be a level w without dying and it's a very very hard level, it would just be quality of life <laughs> improvement if I just like do a save state at a check checkpoint. Because yes, yeah, sometimes this game can get quite hard. It really can. So we don't want to be doing the same level endlessly, you know. Body slam. Yes, there we go. Amazing. Okay, here's a new little area right here. As you can see, nothing happens, but if I body slam on it, there you go. And then stuff like this, this happens. So what's also nice, if I pause it, it's a different pause screen as well. I can take a look how many overall crystals I have out of 25. I can see how many colored gems I have 
at there's five color gems and then there's 42 gems told in in total so that would bring it at 37 uh, silver gems and then we have our overall completion which is is there zero percent right now what's our options now oh, just adjusting yeah just adjusting that which we don't need to worry about because everything is fine so yeah we can kind of slide like that in order to break some uh, some of the boxes great we got a spiky turtle. We can't go into him. There you go. Here's our check checkpoint. Great. Now, now this isn't really a bonus area. This is just part of the stage. So Avo avoid that bird. Yes. Okay. So this is a new box that we that we have right here. The nitro crates. It's instant death if you touch them, unless you have the Aku Aku mask, which is what I have here. So I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to run into him. So I'm just going to try to slide. There you go, perfect. I was a bit worried about that, but we still got it. Now the thing is, the nitro crates do count towards your overall total. So we want to make sure. We want to make make sure that uh, we activate a certain switch that we will see later in order to actually break those crates because because we can't actually break them right now because we will die. So Let's try this again. All right, you know what? There we go. <laughs> when I still had my mask. Perfect. Okay, so now this this jump right right here may be a little tricky. I'm gonna do do the skidding thing again. There you go. We want to get on top on on top of that. Okay. Is there any way we can get on top of this? Let's see. Oh, we may have missed our opportunity to actually get up there. Unless the bird comes comes back. Hmm. Let me try that again. Again, it's so specific, some of the things you have to do. Okay. Okay. So that is what it is. You, you have a very brief time to actually stand on it. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try, try this one here. Perfect. Make sure there's nothing else up there. Because again, we won't be able to actually get all the crates unless we, we get those, because ones in this area also count. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here it is. Here is the nitro crate, so it's going to blow up. I wonder if I can see... Is there any way to actually bring down the... There it is. Okay, so we have 29 crates. I hit that, it goes up to 35. Yeah, we have to destroy those. Okay, great. Oh my god! Okay, great. We got another check checkpoint. Some more spiky, just spiky turtles. Just gonna avoid them. To our body slam. I love that body slam. It's great. Okay, so here's an actual bonus area. The crates in the bonus area also count, so be sure to get those as well. Great. Relatively short, simple bonus bonus stage. Okay, we got some quick quicksand. We can't actually spin in the in the quicksand, so I just gotta try to jump. There we go. Perfect. Don't like the spiky turtles. Okay, another checkpoint for us. All this um, delicious, amazing Wumper fruit. Okay, here we go. So when you collect three masks, booga booga, do do do. Ah, almost made it over the gap. 
So this thing's quite annoying. You just have to wait for those little, like, rat things to come up. Okay, did I get that? I did. Do you see that box that was up there? I got it. Now, there is a way to avoid this gap. I'm going to try it and see. It's quite per precise what you have to do. Okay, kind of. Kind of, except I want to jump on the other side of the pillar. Ah, almost. Actually, that wasn't even an almost. Of course, I, I, I want to say hello to our to our chat members that I have been neglecting, so hello. Hello, Promise and Sable. Okay, so here's our crystal. Here's our amazing crystal. There we go. We got the first cr crystal on this stage. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, uh, I, I can kind of... I can... Darn it. This thing just is just so annoying, just having to deal with these darn rats. I don't think that they're rats, but I'm going to call them rats because it reminds me of Rooster, you know? So we should be right at the end of the stage now. And as you can see, the gem is here, meaning that we got all of the boxes. Wonderful. You go, do your dance. There you go. That's it. We're going to see that like all the time. It gets repetitive after a while, actually. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Hmm. So yeah, he's he's kind of t uh, telling it a little bit that there's going to be something going on here. So, yep. Now, if you notice, there is a blue gem. We're going to head back into the stage and get the blue gem now. Blue gem, uh, the, uh, color, the five color gems require something unique in the stage in order to actually get them. Well, I guess some of the clearer gems or silver gems do as well. But basically what we have to do on this stage in order to get the blue gem, we have to complete the stage without breaking any boxes. So literally this is just going, going, going to be go as fast as we can towards the exit. And that's it. So we're not going to mess with, with anything. We're just going to head straight for the exit. Not even going to go into any bonus stages or anything else of the sort. Don't hit the enemies either because the enemies could go flying into boxes and you don't want that. Not going to break that. Not going to break a checkpoint. I'm going to do my best and just make it to the end. There we go, there we go. Okay, this looks a little tricky here to actually get, get over. Darn it! Well, I'm glad I saved. I pretended to use a checkpoint. There we go. Oh, it still, still happened, still happened. Okay, so how... Oh wait, I guess right here. Right here, say look. That one won't break. Tricky, right? Tricky, yeah. But they, but they do it. Okay, let me, let me see if I can actually avoid this. Yes! That's how you avoid it. That is how, how you avoid it. I did it successfully. I'm gonna try to do that. Because... Ah, darn it. Just ha having to deal with these darn rat things. Oh no, about, about, about the binga. I lost my, uh, man. There you go. Okay. See if I can avoid it now. I don't know if I can do that anymore. I think that was just a fluke. Yep. Probably just just a fluke that I managed to actually do it. Get away from me, you darn rat. Okay, here we are at the end. So now, there would be the blue gem. 
There we go. First stage is now 100% complete. We got the crystal, we got the silver gem, and we got the blue gem. There you go. We're gonna, he's going to put it out here. He's going to do his little dance. As he does. <laughs> that is so goofy. So now we have quite a conundrum here. We have Cortex we need to be collecting the crystals from in order to help him save the world, supposedly. And then we have his old assistant, Enbrio, who wants us to get the gems in order to help him to destroy Cortex. Who should we trust? Or are they both people we should not trust? That's the hard, hard thing here. That is the hard thing here. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, here's our next stage, Snow Go. There is three gems here, a colored gem, a crystal, and just a standard uh, white gem. We cannot get the red gem yet, so we're just going to be going af after the other one. Again, we want to get all of the boxes. We got a nitro crate here. This is a nice, nice little warp area. Anyway. Booga booga! Got pe uh, penguins that, that, that like to spin. And I also like to spin them. Oh no! He was spinning too. There you go, got it. This is a little bit tricky here because we don't want to be spinning. We want to try to get, there you go. Slippery and slidey. There you go, almost, come on. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh. We got some seals. These seals need to go back to making music. We don't like them in the in the, in this Arctic area. We just like them making make making some of those sweet tunes. There you go. Okay, here's our first check checkpoint. Got some more penguins. Yep, seals. Almost got crushed. Almost. Another check checkpoint there. Great. Now, if you do die and you are revived at the checkpoint, all of your boxes are still retained. So that is so that is a good good thing. And as you can see, we actually see the red gem right here, but we can't get it. There's no way to actually get up there to actually get it, unfortunately. So. We'll just have to be back another time. So here's a bonus area. Let's, let's make sure that we get all of the boxes here. Bunch of fruit. That's right, there's a way to... If we hold also, also down the same button, we kind of crouch, and then we can jump to do an extra high jump. 
that are ac actually able to, able to get us even even higher to get get some more crates higher. Relatively e easy bonus area. Yes, give me all those apples. Well, they're wumper fruit, but they resemble apples, you know? Close enough. Booga booga! Do -do -do. Ah, darn. Okay, so right, right, right here. As you can see. Get rid of all of the nitro crates. That's kind of tricky because it was behind where, where you would actually come down. So. Ooh, oh, almost, almost spun into it, yeah. We don't want to do that. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, here's our crystal. Thing that is required for this stage. Avoid avoid the, the penguins. So here we have some blocks that are outlined. We don't but but if but if we kinda look, we can kinda see it. Yeah. We can barely see it. There's an exclamation point way up high in the sky up there. Yeah, so we gotta get up there in order to activate that. There we go. Get rid of that. So you can see, it's like right out of reach. You just have to... There you go. I hit it. You have to do like an extra high jump there. And then you fill in the boxes. So we have 69 boxes, the perfect number of boxes, but that's about to be replaced soon with all these sliding seals. There we go. Which means, there we go. We get the gem. Meaning that we got all the boxes, all 74. Okay, another level down. We cannot get the red, red gem yet, but we will be back to get that. There you go. Do your dance. <laughs> it's so goofy. It's just, it's just so goofy. It really is. Anyway, next stage. Hang 8. We're actually able to get all of the gems here. So, go ahead in. I'm just going to complete the level normally getting all of the boxes first. Always want to check back back here just in case there's anything. You never know. Okay. This platforming on top of water, it's always a bit... Uh, I don't like it. Booga booga! There we go. By the banger. So yeah, we're actually riding on this little ski now. Be careful. Uh, careful, careful, careful. We can also do like a super fat. Uh, there we go. Super fast charge thing. Ooh. Careful, careful. There we go. I don't like you. Okay, bonus area. So yeah, this looks like the bonus area from from the first game. This is uh, very similar. Except, unfortunately, Tanya is not going to be at the end. Our amazing girl girlfriend, Ton Tanya. <laughs> uh, I love it. Yes. How many lives do I have? 19? I'll take it. That to be 21 now. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Let's head up. Let's keep going. So here is the blue gem. If we didn't get, get the blue gem on the first stage, we would not be able to actually access this. So this is a little bonus area. Again, used to get more boxes to actually fully complete the stage. Okay. 
All right, that sucked. Where do I start? Okay, you know what? I saved right after the checkpoint. I mean, right, right after the uh, the bonus. We'll just go in here and try that again. Okay, so th these gem areas tend tend to be harder. I see I see a hippo in the background. Okay. Great. Careful, careful. Once we jump on the hippo, you want to immediately jump off because other otherwise you think he starts sinking. Oh no, by Labinia. Okay, this this looks extremely tricky here, so let's see what we got. Yep. I I missed it. I missed it. Let's try it again. Try this again. Got it. Oh gosh, look at look at this night nightmare right there. Okay, so now we have a, a jet ski section. But we can't get all the all the boxes it looks like, so. And this is why. There we go. Hit that. Perfect. Love the skiing. Jet ski. I love that. He just looks so goofy, doesn't he? Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that face. That goofy looking face. Darn it. Okay. Get back up on this one now. Oh, almost. One, one more. Great. Oh, shoot. All right, let's check it out. 54, 65. All nitros destroyed. We got some darn plants over there, I see. Now, we gotta be careful because we don't have any more, more masks. Okay, hippo. Yes, crystal. Great. So now we're on this jet ski. Amazing. All oh, the amazingness of the jet ski. Ew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Great, great. Okay, we should be practically at the end, I would imagine. I think this is maybe the end right here. And as you can see, we got all the boxes, which means we get the gym. Awesome. Two more for us. Do your dance. Yeah, you know you want to. There you go. There you go. You silly old dance, man. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Oh, after five crystals, huh? He's going to communicate with us again? Okay, well... Unfortunately for you, Cortex, we're not going to get another crystal right yet. We're going to go back in to, into Hang 8 and get the other gem. So in order to get this gem, once you get to the first checkpoint box, we should be able to see um, something something different that'll end up happening here. So, let's just go.
Booga booga. Do do do. Okay, here it is. There we go. So, you saw the timer there. The timer will appear now, and we have a minute. Just under a minute to make it to the end to get the crystal. Okay? So this is going to be speedrun tactics. Let's go. But I guess don't be too reckless, you know? Because if we we die, then uh, I, think we, I think we just got to start over. Twenty-five seconds to make it to the end. Oh gosh, can we do it? Oh my gosh. No! We were close, look! Oh, it was right there in sight. It was right there in sight, okay. Try that again. We gotta optimize some of our our speed of of here. Here we go. Ah, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That may not be good. Go, go, go. Speed run. Yes. Go, 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 crash. No time to waste. Okay, come on. Four. Three. Two. No, it was right there. It was right there. Okay. Third time's the charm, right? Third time's the charm. This is it. We got better that time. This time is the optimal run. Well, I can't miss the mask. I gotta get that mask. It helps me with an extra hit. Ah, oh, darn it. I missed the mask again. Let's try this again. Booga booga. Do do do. Yeah, if we can optimize our exit strategy right there with uh, getting off the ski, that would honestly be the best thing we can possibly do. Ah, shoot. Ah, see, this is where it gets kind of kind of tricky now. Booga booga. Oh no. Oh no, can we actually... I don't know if we can do that now. See, now now I'm like going like too, too fast that I may not be able, be able to do it. Booga booga. Okay, come on now. Perfect, perfect, let's go. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh no! I feel as though I was doing really, really well there. Ugh. And it's like I don't want to save during any of any of this stuff because you never know what could end up happening. Okay. Oh, why did he do that? See, look, now I'm like messing up like so bad now. Okay, I felt as though that was really good. I'm gonna- I'm gonna save here. <laughs> if I have to start her all over, I'll have to start her all over. Oh, so close. So close. Alright, let's keep going.
This time constraint is so strict. It's insane. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. I think we got it this 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 time. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay. That was tricky. That was really tricky, but we ended up getting it. There you go. Do do your dance, do your dance as you always do. Great. Okay, so that level is fully completed now. Up next one here, the pits. This one only has two um, total things to get, so this one should be relatively easy. Let's get all the boxes. That's our main objective. Okay. Ew. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Oh, that didn't Bali Labing at me? Darn it. It Bali Labing at me. Okay, our first, first check checkpoint. Okay, here's a split. Wait a second. Get rid of that abomination. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the left in the fork. Oh no, we got by the it again. Oh no. Yes, get all the fruit. Great. Okay, so now we actually want to end up hitting hit hitting this. Great. Oh, look at these fools right here. Great. So here's where the crystal is actually. Got got the crystal. Now we're not going to continue on because there's no more boxes up there. So we actually have to go back now and go the other path if we want to get all the boxes. So let's be careful because it's limited amount you can actually see. And there, I think there's that one enemy here that I did, did not get, get get rid of. He's like right, right here, right? There he is. Okay. Bit tricky. Bit tricky. I think all the other enemies are gone though, so no need to worry. Ooh, darn it. Fortunately, I saved right there like like it was a checkpoint. Uh, uh, ooh, darn it again. Thought I could have jumped over it. Oh gosh, she almost fell again. Okay, what now? Careful. Okay, there we go. Ah, okay, so now, now it's time to go through the other path. Get the rest of the boxes. Get rid of these abominations too. Like who, sir, who, 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 who created you? A turtle with a buzzsaw on its, on its back. You are amazing. I mean, the turtle with with spikes makes makes more sense. So as you can see, those boxes filled in with the 
exclamation point box that we got on the other path. So yeah, you needed that. And here's where the other 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 path would would be. Another awesome check checkpoint for us. Okay, here's one of one of these rat rat holes. Oh darn it, I didn't I, I wanted to, to avoid it. Darn you rats. There you go. Bonus. Bonus area. So these boxes right here, these are these are new boxes as well. You can't do anything. As you can see, it doesn't actually work. Unless you body slam on him. Yeah, you, you, you have to body body slam on him. So you can see there, there there were some empty boxes there. Okay, this this looks a bit tricky. So uh We have to go back through through those boxes, so I'm not going to get rid of them. Okay, let's do that. Head back over. There we go. Great. So now... See if we can. I can do this. So I want to like this. Yes, perfect. I was a bit worried there, but we got it. We got it. All right, that's all the boxes for the bonus area. Great. There's the goo. Okay, this is another one of these rat rat lounges. Yes, I avoided the rat lounge. Got it. Another rat. Another rat lounge. Oh, how many lounges do those rats need? There you go. I avoided it again. And there we go. There's our gym. Awesome. Okay, so that stage is now 100% complete. Making some nice progress. There you go, do your dance, there you go. Goofy, goofy. Okay, so the last stage on the first floor is Crash Dash. And it's just Crystal and a Gem, so we, sh we should be able to fully complete this one too. Ah, as you can see... The camera. Yeah. We got one of one of one of these stages. Who remembers these good old classic stages? These stages were classic. Let's go. Oh gosh. Okay, made it. Made it to the first check checkpoint. That's good. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, I died. On oh, electric, though. Okay, let's try this again. Careful, careful. Okay. All right. Another check checkpoint reach. How many boxes have we got? Nine nine boxes. Now there will be boxes on this trail. Um, and I believe the boulder counts as actually being being able to get them. That's just like right on our honey hole. As you can see, it's 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 counting the nitro crates. Oh, uh, great. Okay. Got the crystal now. 
bonus bonus area. I really like like these stages. These stages are a lot of fun. They really are. Stages where you have to run away from the boulder. I'm not even going to try to attempt that. Okay, now this looks tricky. So, mm, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I am glad that I that I saved right here. <laughs> no hurt in saving, right? Okay, so we should be able to now wait enough time and then we should be able to, to disintegrate him. Ah, close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. My gosh, look at all those amazing lives. I love them. Okay, now, now we have the... Have, have these speed platforms. <laughs> okay, hold on. I look in the chat. I look in the chat. And, and, and does someone really think? Does someone really think that, that there is a penis command in the chat? Is there a penis? There is no pe a penis command. Uh, I, I want to see if that uh, counts. Although, you know, if we're talking about penises, you know. Penis! There you go. Your urge has been satisfied. <laughs> penis command. Okay, so 35, does that count? Oh gosh, I died again. That a jump is a bit tricky. This like so shallow. 35. Okay. Yes, it does count. Oh my gosh. Oh, it jumped. You see that? You see that? I got to die. The boulder jumps over those two boxes. Does it j j jump over these two? It does. Jumps over all those. Jumps jumps over all those. Okay. So we have to get those those boxes. Okay, that is honestly interesting. Really, really tricky, but interesting. Be careful. I know it's coming up, right? It's like right... Got him. Got him. Oh, gosh. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Okay. Keep running into, into, into that one. Okay. Stop stop looking back, Crash. Pay pay attention. There you go. Oh my gosh, we did it. Yes, it's ours. Not as tricky as I was thinking it was gonna be, but we got it. Okay, so that actually with the exception of one level, that fully completes the whole first floor. Nice. There you go. Do your little dance. As you do. Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, Use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Okay, so yeah, he's basically telling us in order to get to the next warp room, we just use the platform in the center to go up. So yeah, this is the only level that we have not fully completed. So, 
We're actually going to head to the second warp room. But not because there's actually well, let's see what happens. There's actually a boss between each warp, warp, warp room. So our first boss should look quite familiar. It is Ripper Roo. He's got he's reading some books. He's got a top hat. He's got a nice mustache. He's putting TNT out. This guy's an absolute fool. He's an idiot. Okay, so now this is this is where it's da uh, da dangerous, right? Right here. Okay, that is what we want to do. We want to jump on his head. Okay, one more hit and he'll be dead. Oh, oh, looks like he's about to run into me. I don't know. I don't like that. Look at that. 17% done. Amazing. Okay, here comes the nitros. Easy. Oh, he just he does the dance. Remember in the first game, he's like yeehaw. Wish he did did the yeehaw instead of the dance, but yeah, he just does the darn yeehaw stuff. I mean, he he used to. But yeah, here's the whole second floor. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash! I can't keep the data pad open with Crash! You need to- I agree with with Coco there that trusting Cortex uh, you know, a bit a bit a bit fishy now. Now this is this is where I would normally end here for this for this part, but there's actually one thing I want to do. Besides, look look at this little cutie. Look at that little cutie right there. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go into the stage air crash. For what reason? Ah, oh, let's go ahead and see. Let's see. Air crash, so it's like it's like icy out out here. Once you go in here, it's kind of a bit more tropical. So it's one of these jet ski levels again. Gosh, look at those fish. Okay. So, right here, this is very important. I do not want to get in the jet ski. I want to use the boxes over here and jump on them. This may be a little tricky, so... Oh, yeah, very tricky if you just do that, you know? Just immediately, like, like die. Fortunately, there, there is a checkpoint right there. Ah, shoot. Oh yeah, this okay, so don't don't go over to that one. Don't go over to that one. Jump up here. Up there. There you go. Bonus. Secret. That's a secret right there. A pepperoni secret to be precise.
Do you go there? Oh, what is this now? So, look at this. This is level 2. This is the stage that had that red gem. Hmm. Then we also have a stage 14. Stage 20, 26. Stage 27. So yeah, this is like a little secret- oh, and stage 7. I don't know why that one's first. Interesting, though. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and go in back into Snow Go, but with the secret entrance. That's why I want to do this. Snow Go. Maybe now. Maybe now we'll be able to get the red, red gem. Hmm. Oh, no. Not those por uh, porcupines. Oh, gosh, this is so slippery. Oh my gosh! Okay, good. I was like, slipping and sliding all over the place. We got it now. Booga booga! Doo -doo -doo. Oh no! But about 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 the 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 the. There you go. Just so we don't have to have to do that whole part again. Okay. Darn it, Mr. Mr. Seal's worth. Ugh, I, I can't even get them now because of that darn seal. So that, as you can see, these are all metal crates because if you remember, we did get the silver gem on the stage. If these were actual boxes, we would not have been, been able to actually do that. Okay, I need to... Nope. Oh, I, I see, I see. Ah, oh, it's tricky jumping here with all, with all these... this ice physics. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Okay, great. Oh. <sighs> good, good, good. Oh my god, do do do. Oh, okay, this looks a little tricky here. What's our percentage? 18%. Okay, great. And that is why. That is- I, I, I just- I just- I just had a feeling. I, I, I just had a feeling. Got it. Got the red gem. So that is where- where that- where that led- led to. So, there you go. Now all we gotta do is just finish the stage, and the red gem will be ours. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do do do! Bottle of bingo. All right. Red gem is ours. So now the whole first world is 100% complete. We have everything in the whole first floor of the warp room. There you go. Here you dance. Great. There it is. Everything complete. So I guess the last thing to do is just save it now. Ah. Uh, yes. <laughs> we had, we, we, had a, we had a goofy face and now we have a better face. Awesome.
All right, so yeah, next time we're gonna go up to the second floor. And we'll be able to explore the levels here and actually complete them and then see what... See what is going on with, uh... That. <laughs> All right, so... I'll see you then.